Assalamu alaikum everyone, I'm Nazmis and welcome to Chuck's Challenge. By the way, Assalamu alaikum is the Islamic greeting of peace be unto you. So in this uh, episode, episode 2, I'll be playing one of my levels that I made, um, a custom level I made called Running Errands. And if you see the level, you'll know exactly why I call it. So here, I have to get that um, magnet so I could walk through the fourth floor, but I don't have the ice skates, so I slip past it. So I took my first chip, I have 8 chips left. And you could see I could die out to get the key to get the key I'll have to use the fire boots or fire power up, which I don't have. So I'm gonna make a bridge. And there we go. Now I should be able to get the key. Boom. Now you might think, hey Ness, what do I do now? Well well did you know that I by the way, did you know that I hit an invisible wall, in, uh, a fake wall there? So you might be looking around, but it's right here. By the way, whatever you do, do not touch these red circles, however pretty they may be, because they will take away your power ups. So they're like the thief from Tip Challenge. We here you have the clone machine and some fireballs. Uh, use them to destroy the bombs, but don't create too many because you will trap yourself, and that would not be good. Of course, you have the undo button. And these, oh, that I did not mean to do that. Now these are gliders in Chips Challenge. There are no uh, eyeball aliens here, but in the original Chips Challenge, the, the, these enemies follow the same pattern patterns as the glider did in uh, Chips Challenge. Now these uh, broken bridges are recessed wall. Oh, did you hear this a bloop sound? But anyway. These are the recessed walls from Chips Challenge, and this is the blob. Yeah, they are very unpredictable and scary, so. Well, I collect my last chips, or not chips, fishes, or fish, and I open the toggle door, and I'm out. Whee! I, by the way, I love how the the water or the water power up sound like a jet airplane ha! I fooled you ha! fake keys or fake wall or can't enter this is the equivalent of teeth and if you, you gotta get away from them because they're not fun and these are the equivalent from the pink balls that just go horizontally again the annoying blobs and this is the equivalent for the tanks I love how the sound ma they make like yes agreed yes sir whatever Oh, by the way, since I have the water power up, I could go outside the level because this is a floating island. So woohoo! I don't think there's anything I could do. I mean, it's covered. I covered it by boundaries, so I can't cheat. So I'll have to come back here anyway. But I just have to make that open just for heck of it. Just for people wanna, you know, just you know, mess around, go outside the level if they want. But. But okay, so. Now I should be able to have my, oops, see I do not have my magnet yet. You know, it's it's weird because magnets should make it harder, it'll, it'll cause you to stick to the floor floor so you'd be moving with it. I I don't understand how the magnets get you through the floor floors. Whoops. These are like the bugs from Chip Challenge, those are the paramecium's, okay. Here, if I, by the way, if I try to exit, I'll die. I will not die, I get trapped. So what I have to do is I have to use the blue key I took, which I, which you, I hope you did, and take the blue key and then use the block to open the fire trap, for bear trap, and you're good to go. Well, guys, thanks for watching, and in the next episode, inshallah, I'll be, st I'll start with the stock levels of Chuck Challenge. Mm -hmm.